as I'm sitting here um, checking my email, I have got a comment from Sky Monet. Hey girl, how you doing? Um, and this is your comment, and I'm gonna answer you via this vlog. You asked, hey Miss Steph, love the vlog. I support both channels, Jazzy too. Off topic, but I'm struggling. Do you have any tips for an army wife whose baby is going off to pre-K? I'm too attached to her, maybe, and I'm terribly scared of her leaving me. I'm super overprotective, but to keep this comment short, do you have any tips on how to cope with this? I just feel like no one will or can take care of her as good as her father and I. Well, honey, I so agree with you. Um, of course, nobody's going to take care of your children better than you. Um, however, um, I will just tell you my experiences. And the funny thing about it is my children are seven years apart, and they both did the same freaking thing to me. Okay? We'll start with Jasmine. Um, when the first time I took Jasmine to um, pre-K, it was when we lived in Hawaii. And... Um, you know, we've been in the Army for 21 years now. So this is like early, early, early on in our marriage. Jasmine was like three, maybe she was three years old because she turned four when we moved to North Carolina. Well, I took Jasmine to her first day of pre-K. Um, it's six o'clock in the morning. She was all amped, got her little lunch bucket, and she is all fly, ready to go to school and stuff. Get out of the car. You know, I'm really thinking about, okay, how is she going to handle this? Because she's just been with me for the past three years. First two years of Jasmine's life, I was... Jada. It's so on you. Um, I was an at-home mother. Um, I don't like that life. But I was an at-home mother, and I just didn't think Jasmine was going to be able to cope without being around her mom. Well, honey, let me just tell you what she did. Took her to the class. She saw the kids. I asked her for a kiss goodbye. She gave me a quick smack on the cheek, and poof, be gone. I was like, Jasmine, she was like, bye, mommy, bye. She was ready to go play. She was around other kids. She just said, bump her. She'll be all right. Now, I left out of that classroom, tore the hell up for the simple reason my child showed independency. She showed that she was going to be all right without me and that she wanted to be around other kids and play with them in the whole nine yards. And I just didn't handle that very well. I walked out the classroom crying, okay? Not her crying behind me. I walked out the classroom crying because she just showed me that she didn't need me, okay? Now, different story when I picked her up. When I picked her up, um, I am that mother that if I pay for you to be there till 6 o'clock, guess what? Your ass gonna stay there 6 o'clock, okay? I'm getting all my money's worth, okay? Picked her up at 6 o'clock. She's sitting down and she was like, just like watching cartoons with kids and stuff. But when she saw me, her face lit up. She ran over to me, jumped up on me, hugged me, kissing me. Oh, so glad you came to pick me up. Um, I'm ready to go home, blah, 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 blah. Different story when I came to pick her up. Now, with Jada, Jada was the same way. Um... Jada is more of a social butterfly by nature, okay? Uh, she is that way with kids in school to this day. Jada make friends like this, okay? Blank and she done made a damn friend. It don't matter where we at either, she will make a friend, all right? So Jada, first day of school, Jada did in-home care for a little while, and so... Jada was a pre a preemie when she was born. Jada came seven weeks early. And I was very, very, like, protective with her because, you know, she was um, open to, you know, getting sick, um, you know, catching infections and stuff because, you know, she wasn't supposed to be here until seven weeks later. Well, 
Jada did in-home care with a care provider for the first like year of her life and then when I felt like Jada was not learning anything there you know I teach them things at home ABCs one two threes but I didn't feel like it was being reinforced in the daycare facility that she was going to that was in home care so I made the executive decision to put her in a Christian school and she went to Calvary Christian School in North Carolina and it was a daycare program where she could go and I could take Jasmine and where's that Miss Della? No, that was not Miss Della. Oh. That was Calvary, the school. That the was big, right down the school. The church. Yes. That was down the street. Um, took Jada down. And um I think, like I said, my children show their true colors when you drop them off the daycare. Um, oh, you know, she was going to be so attached to Miss Penny that, you know, she was going to be like, oh, you know, I don't even want to go to the daycare, you know, blah, 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 blah. Child, please. Dropped her off at the school. Pew! Gone! Disappeared! Okay? Then, this one didn't even say, bye, mommy. Um, she didn't grab my leg, none of that. Pew! Made friends instantly. And this was at two years old. 18 months, two years old. This one, okay? Very, very social child, okay? Um, but same thing happened. When I picked them up, now they're ready to love on mommy. Oh, I miss you. Oh, you know, why do you leave me here? Oh, <laughs> That's what we say. <laughs> All day. Why do you leave me here? Blah, blah, blah. Then uh, go home, be around mommy, take baths, eat, go to bed, get up, that's fine, this day all over again. Love school. They both, they're children who love school. Um, and to my knowledge, I think they still love school. I mean, clearly Jasmine in college, okay? But to deal with that is I would say don't set expectations like you think your child is going to like die without you or anything like that or like they're just not going to have a good day because they're just used to being around mommy and daddy all the time. Nine times out of ten it's going to be the opposite and it will be just because they are around little people who, who are like them. So they're exploring the world, you know, they're learning and developing and it creates great social skills. So I'm gonna say for that simple fact, girl, you're just gonna have to put your big girl panties on and you're just gonna have to just suck it up because eventually they're gonna have to go to school. So they're gonna have to um, leave you for a couple of hours throughout the day. And you'll be surprised, you will learn to appreciate that time to yourself like you know you can go get your hair done you can go back home if you want to go to sleep um you'll be able to get things around the house done um if you go to work you'll be able to go to work and just know that your child is in great care times have changed from back in the day back in the day we didn't have all this technology that we got now that you can get on your iphone and zoom into the child's class and see your child and stuff like that shit i wish they did have that back in the day because i've always been that mother that was paranoid for my children to be out of my presence. So, I wish they had that. I just, thank God, thank God. Is that why God. you created that little pocket? Hold my pocket, don't go nowhere. You damn right. I told y'all about that last night, right? Stranger danger, hello. My children. I said that, thank you very much. Keep them close to me. Um, I think by far, um, when we lived in North Carolina and my husband was deployed and he had to go to Afghanistan, um, he went to Afghanistan twice. Um, I think that's when I, God put this special angel in my life, special angel. He, he surrounded me with angels because I had like a great support system right in North Carolina and I had no immediate family that lived around me. So big shots out to Miss Della, Miss Della, Miss Della, Miss Della. Miss Della is family. Yes.
She's somebody I consider a part of my family because, honey, she was the type of daycare provider that she did not play the radio. And Jada, oh, honey, Jada got a big dose of her, okay? Big dose of her. She, um, she was strict. She um, loved on the kids. But yet they knew she didn't play. So she was that type of caregiver that she was like they second mama when i was in around she stepped in and she made sure they 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 ate she made sure that you know they took naps they did their homework the whole night plus miss della she had two older kids and they were friendly to me i miss them so much she was the bomb she was the bomb and how i met her was just it was um, through somebody who, quote unquote, I thought she was my friend, but she wasn't. However, a great relationship developed from me meeting that person to meeting Miss Della. I give Miss Della a huge shout out. I give Miss Della a shout out. I give Sandy, my neighbor who lived next door to me. She used to babysit Rocky for me, honey. Yeah, I miss her so much. Ooh, give her a shout out. I give my homegirl, Damika, a shout out because she used to, um, when I had to work, and this was my Charlotte Roost days now, she would, um, she would drive all the way to Durham come pick up my kids from school and yes I used to be doing a lot of driving when my husband was deployed but you know what you gotta work with what you got and as an army wife and a spouse I appreciated the people that God brought into my life in a time where I needed all the support I could get because my husband's first deployment by drove me damn crazy okay because he was out there looking for a bit lot and okay like literally, like he was out there looking for Bin Laden. And the the people who I just was blessed to have surrounded by me, surrounded around me, just I just had a good group of people. And somebody who I, I have to mention her, um, she's she'll always be a part of my life. She's just not a part of my life currently. And that is Delanda. Delanda was um, a huge, a huge help to me when my husband was deployed as well. Um, her and her husband, Guapani, they really, um, they were our family. And they helped a lot. I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional talking about them just because there are people who we miss. And... Unfortunate things happen, and we're no longer a part of each other's lives. Um, but I, I, I would be sitting here lying, and I would be sitting here not being 100 with y'all, which I know that's I'm going to always be, if I did not include them in that. Um, of course, I got plenty of help from my family um, back in Florida. My mom would come, and, you know... Um, come down for Thanksgiving and she would come down for Christmas because I worked a crazy schedule during that time and just to make sure that the girls were squared away you know while they was on break and stuff but you know but I just had a really strong support system when my husband was deployed and it was when I really needed I really needed that support I wouldn't have made it throughout it my father-in-law would come and give me breaks when the girls was on spring break, he would come pick them up, didn't bring them that back. For, didn't he do that for summer too? Yes, he would do it for the summers. And I mean, it was just, it was just, I just had hella good support. And I thank God for that. I thank God for those people to this day. So, honey, if you got little ones, you won't have to trust that, um, you just got to make sure you got the right village in your circle to help raise your babies. And um, God will give you those, those, those cues if this is right and if it don't feel right. If it don't feel right, don't do it. It feels right and you, you pay attention to how your kids respond and act around certain people. Trust that. 
Trust that. Because I've always paid attention to that. And I still do to this day. Shit, I even pay attention to who my dog like. Okay? And don't like. And if he ain't vibing you, honey, you got to go. <clears throat> He's Rocky. sleeping like he pays bills. Rocky. He said I have a job. Rocky. Chesna, chill. Leave me the fuck alone, okay? Ugh. Leave me alone. No. I'm going to sleep. You sleep 24-7. This is my job. No, it's okay. not. Your job is so, to protect this house. Sky. Is it Sky? I want to make sure. I thought it was Skylar. Yes. Sky Monet. I hope I answered your question. And feel free to ask me anything. Anything dealing with being a military spouse. Like I said, we've been in the military since 94. And... We got a couple more years to go before we retire, and then guess what? It's gonna be all on me, all on me. Cause I told my husband when he retires from the army, I want to be in a position in my life to where Eclat Mista is just done blew up and doing big things. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and speak this into manifestation. Mr. Long ain't gonna have to work once he retire, cause I got. I'm not going to work either. Yeah. Rocky, you don't work now. Yes, you do. Exactly. I'm going to do the same thing in five years. Mm -hmm. Sleep. And be okay. So I hope I answered your question. And if I didn't, please feel free to ask me again. I guess, just, I guess, I don't know. Rephrase the question. Yeah, rephrase really. the question. I hope I answered it, though. Um, you answered a lot of questions in there. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. But I'm still going to reply to you on YouTube, but you'll just actually see the verbal more in depth when you watch the vlog.